Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back. Well, we're not where we left off. Um, if you're wondering why we're on Luca Island, that will become clear in just a minute. Uh, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So, Luca Island, why are we here? Um, there was something I forgot to do when I was here, back when we were at this part of the game. It's a little easter egg that um, I've actually done before but completely forgot about. Um, and we were asked to come back here and unfortunately we can't sort of sail anywhere other than the current island on this game. So we're going to have to do it this way. So... Dave? Yes? It basically involves... These I gifts. I to find some St. Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? Uh, okay. Uh, one of the free ones, please. I'd like to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Uh, Jerry. Jerry? Jerry. Jerry had his eye on a pirate princess named... Uh, Mindy. Mindy? Mindy. Sadly... Mindy's finger was already wearing the engagement ring of a bounder named... Uh, Fred. Fred? Yeah, Fred. Well? Well, what? What happened? Realising that beauty was only skin deep, she married the ugliest man in town. The end. What a dreadful oh, story. we already got that one. really should leave the storytelling to the professionals. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. We already got one of those. What is it? This is something special. It's a sample of my newly created, ultra-stretchy, one-size-fits-all prosthetic skin. Yeah. With just a few square feet of this miracle substance, a pirate can replace all the skin he's lost during a lifetime of sword fighting, knife fighting, keel hauling, and the occasional flogging. And it comes complete with a set of tiny hooks for easy attachment. I repeat, yeah. you already gave me one of those. I did. Well, I'm sorry, but I can only afford to hand out one. I don't need another customer. one. Okay, so let's do it again. So we know. And I still need to find some St. Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? Um. Something free again. I'd like to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named. Uh, this time let's go for Larry. Larry? Larry. Larry wanted to win the hand of a fair maiden named. Cindy. Cindy? Cindy. Unfortunately, Cindy's hand had already been promised to a vile cad named. Uh, Ned. Ned? Ned, that's it. Well? Well, what? What happened? Neither of them had the guts to go through with there the wedding, so, so she turned her well. passion towards the stock market, where she lived happily ever after. <laughs> what? The end. What a dreadful story. That story's worse than the last one. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. So what is it? Guts That's now. a few dozen feet of Frinkle and Osterman's artificial guts. Oh, gross. I know. Those things always clog up on cold winter nights. Ugh, oh, double gross. Yeah, super gross. Um, but we're gonna need more. And I still need to find some Saint Swithin's Because there's all sorts of goodies we can collect from this. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? Um, free ones like again. Another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Okay. Once upon a time, there annoying. was a pirate named uh, Harry. 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 A palm reader had told Harry that he was destined to marry a beautiful singer named. Uh, Wendy. Wendy? Wendy. Tragically, Wendy had already pledged her heart to a jerk named... Uh, Jed. Jed? That's right. Jed. Well? Well, what? What happened? All three of them became the butt of a very naughty limerick. <laughs> the end. What a dreadful story. It's an incredibly really dreadful story. story. To the professionals. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. <laughs> what is it? This butt. is a noble experiment that never quite worked. A team of French proctologists decided to attack the problems faced by pirates who lost their butts. Some had had their <laughs> butts shot off in battle, others had worked their butts off, while still others could no longer find their butts with both hands and a flashlight. After many years, they created this, the Faux Butt 3000. <laughs> Everyone surprised? Oh, it flopped. But why? It turns out that people would rather have no butt at all than a phony butt. <laughs> 
I don't think that's true these days. <laughs> and I still need to find some Saint Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. Not naming any names what of, you know, of you celebrities and stuff, but there we go. <laughs> one of the three I'd ones, like to have please. One of those Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Right, so there's some other okay. bits and pieces Once we can collect upon a up. time, there was a pirate named... Uh, Jerry. Jerry. Jerry had his eye on a pirate princess named... Uh, Cindy. 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 Unfortunately, Cindy's hand had already been promised to a vile cad named... Uh, Ned. Ned? Ned, that's it. Well? Well, what? What happened? Oh, they all died of liver disorders in their early thirties. You wouldn't believe how much grog those kids were drinking. The end. What a dreadful story. That story's worse than the last one. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. Thank you. What is it? It's a Bumbleweenie M-Class artificial liver. They were recalled a few months back. <laughs> Why? I uh, couldn't handle the grog. Just the opposite. If they didn't get a constant supply of hard alcohol, they broke down. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, we still need more, I though. Still need to find some Saint Day I think you can see friend. where this is going. <laughs> What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? Um, free ones again. I'd like again. to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Okay, once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Uh, Jerry, Jerry again. Jerry. Jerry had Jerry. his eye on a pirate princess named... Uh, Wendy. Wendy? Wendy. Tragically, Wendy had already pledged her heart to a jerk named... Uh, Jed. Jed? That's right, Jed. Well, well, what? What happened? Eventually, she followed her heart and married a quantum physicist from Azusa. Who wants to marry a pirate anyway? The well, end. we got married. A dreadful story. You really should leave the storytelling to the professionals. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? That's a top of the line Pump Master Omega brand artificial heart. They were all the rage a couple of years back before the screws started rusting. Okay, I still need some I more, still need to find some more gifts. Day gifts for my friends. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? Free ones again. I'd like to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology. That's eh? right. I just can't get enough. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named uh, Larry. 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 Larry wanted to win the hand of a fair maiden named uh, Mindy. 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 Sadly. Mindy's finger was already wearing the engagement ring of a bounder named... Fred. Fred? Yeah, Fred. Well? Well, what? What happened? After many years of plotting, she became head of all the families and had them both whacked. The oh. end. What a dreadful story. These stories just really get worse and worse. Telling to the professionals. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. Thank you. What is it? That's a prototype from my own Dead Eye Deluxe prosthetic head. It's for pirates who've lost so many ears, eyes, and noses that they prefer to start all over with a brand new head. How do you plan on duplicating the intricate thought process of the pirate brain? I plan on fixing that in my first patch. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> okay, we still need I more still gifts. I need to find though. some St. Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. What kinds of gifts God, did you have sniffing. in mind? Okay, um, the free one. I'd like to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Huh? I just love it. Okay. Dave, I Once just love the free time, technology. There was a pirate named... Um, Jerry again. Jerry? Jerry. Jerry had his Wait, eye didn't we on do a Jerry? pirate princess named... Oh, God, I've forgotten which ones we've done. Wendy? Wendy. Tragically, Wendy had already pledged her heart to a jerk named... Jed, Jed. I think we did That's this right. one. Jed. Well, well, what? What happened? Eventually, she yeah, followed her heart we, um, and married a quantum physicist from a zoo. can't skip this wants to marry a pirate anyway. The end. What a dreadful story. We already story. got the heart, okay. You really should leave the storytelling to the professionals. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? That's a top of the line Pump Master Omega brand artificial heart. They were all the rage a couple of years back before the screws started rusting. You already gave me one of those. I did. Well, I'm sorry, but I can only afford to hand out one of these per customer. So you seem to have a lot of these to me. I still need to find some St. Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? God, the sniffing is I'd unbearable, like to have isn't one of those it? Free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? 
Okay, once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Right, so what we're going to do is go for Larry. Larry? Larry. Larry wanted to win the hand of a fair maiden named... Uh, Wendy. Wendy? Wendy. Tragically, Wendy had already pledged her heart to a jerk named... Uh, Jed. Jed? That's right, Jed. Well? Well, what? What happened? She decided that she couldn't stomach the thought of being married to either of them. So she joined the convent. The end. What a dreadful story. You really should leave the storytelling to the professionals. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? That's a factory model, Biotastic Stomach 9000. If they ever can figure out how to keep the acid from leaking out, they'll sell millions. Don't worry, this unit's empty. <sighs> Anyway, I think I we've got two more we've got to collect. Take gifts for my friends. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? I don't remember this being so long, this bit. Jeez. I'd like to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Okay, once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Uh, Harry. Harry? Harry. A palm reader had told Harry that he was destined to marry a beautiful singer named... Mindy. Mindy? Mindy. Sadly... Mindy's finger was already wearing the engagement ring of a bounder named... Fred. Fred? Yeah, Fred. Well? Well, what? What happened? She decided that she couldn't stomach oh, the stomach thought of being well. married to either of them. So she joined a convent. The end. What a dreadful story. You really should leave the storytelling to the professionals. Huh. I know. Here's your okay, free maybe we only have one more we need to get. What is it? That's a factory model, Biotastic Stomach 9000. If they ever can figure out how to keep the acid from leaking out, they'll sell millions. Don't worry, this unit's empty. You already gave me one of those. I did. Well, I'm sorry, but I can only afford to hand out one of these per customer. Okay. And I still need to find some Saint Swiss. So I think maybe we only need friends. one more piece. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? I'd like to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? I definitely can't, okay. man. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Harry. Harry? Harry. A palm reader had told Harry that he was destined to marry a beautiful singer named... Um... Cindy. Cindy? Cindy. Unfortunately, Cindy's hand had already been promised to a vile cad named... Ned. Ned? Ned, that's it. Ned Stark. Well? Well, what? What happened? In the end, she ran off with a travelling prince who slipped a pair of glass slippers on her size 12 feet. The size eight. 12 what feet? What a dreadful story. That story's worse than the last what one. Bigger I feet. know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? These are a pair of Ace Stud Finder supersized prosthetic feet. They were designed for pirates with insecurities about the size of their... You know, feet. Unfortunately, these things just made them look like Dutch clowns. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I think we've got them all now. See you later. That makes one of us. <laughs> Good one. So, we need to combine all these bad boys up now. Um, uh, there we go. So we've con connected those two. Uh, Ugh, it's right. It's gross. Right. Let's put the heart in. Uh, okay, let's put the liver in, let's put the butt on it, and then last should be the thing, I think. Now my creation is complete. Yeah, there we go, abomination of nature, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> uh, and now we can actually do something with this, ready? Three, two, one. Uh, how do we do it? Three, two, one, let's get it. Can't use it. Here we go. Abomination of nature. Go! It's alive! Hmm. That was exciting. <laughs> so yeah, that was the reason for doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry it took so long. I couldn't remember how long it was going to take. Um, but yeah, it's taken ages. Um, that was actually requested by Tom Chittick. So thank you for sending that comment in and requesting that. Um, as I said, I have done it before. I completely forgot it existed. So thank you for... Um, for requesting that we do that. It was a nice little easter egg there. Um, making the abomination of nature. But um, I'm going to load up the proper save now. So we can get back to where we were. On Monkey Island. Before we were interrupted creating an abomination of nature. Um, right. We have to do something in here. 
And I believe it involves Timmy the monkey down on the beach, I think. But um, let's head over to the giant monkey head first. So I think there's something we can do over there now, if I remember right. Um, and also, guys, while I'm here, um, we are very quickly approaching the end of this playthrough. Um, I think the next episode will probably be the last one. Because uh, I don't think there's really too much more to do after we've solved these last couple of puzzles here on Monkey Island. So, um, after this we're going to play a, a fan-made point-and-click game. But then after that we're going to be back with another classic point-and-click adventure game. And I've actually got two choices um, that I want you guys to to think about for that and, and vote to see which one you want to play. Um, so the first one is... Um, Indiana Jones The Last Crusade and that's the graphic adventure one and the second choice is The Dig. Um, we're going to play both of them anyway but I want to know which one you guys want to see first so let me know in the comments below this video uh, vote for which one you want, I'll add up all the votes and we'll go for the most popular choice um, so again it's choice one is Indiana Jones The Last Crusade The Graphic Adventure and the second one is The Dig so don't forget to let me know which series you want to see next so we can, um, we can get going with that. So let's head to the monkey head. And we're going to use our banana picker. With the nose up here. As we've done already twice. Okay, let's head inside. But straight inside this time. Last time it took us ages to do that. Who's... What monkey was making that noise? Right, so we're back in here now. Does. And if you remember, there was this weird slot over here, wasn't there? Was it prominent slot or something? There we go, prominent slot. It looks like something important is supposed to go in there. And that's where this is supposed to go, believe it or not. I'll just put the gubernatorial symbol here. Hey, it fits! Yeah, how about that? Nothing happened. Hmm. The temperature and monkey gauges both read zero. I guess I need to fill those up first. Oh, of course. Right, so we need to get power to this bad boy before we do that. I remember now, the last time we came down here, we said about getting power, didn't we? Um, it's quiet. There doesn't seem to be any pressure buildup. Right, that involves Timmy the monkey, <laughs> who's been waiting for us patiently on the beach all this time, if you can believe that. Good old Timmy. Let's pick up our banana picker, and we're going to go down to the beach. I wonder why um, you go in there now and it's like that instead of what it was before, which was the, the caverns. I know he said the caverns sort of got filled in or something, didn't he, Herman? But I don't know, it's just a bit weird. But, oh god, I don't want to talk to the smelly monkey, go away. Okay, let's head back this way then, <laughs> we've got to go all the way back to the beach now. Okay, over the long bridge over the molten lava. And now we want to go and get Timmy the monkey. Who is all the way down on the beach where we first washed up. So we want to avoid Herman's camp if we... what the hell? There we go. We'll avoid Herman's camp and walk to the beach. No, apparently we're not going to walk to the beach. We're going to come over here because Guybrush wants to go over there for some reason. Uh, let's just click it so he walks there. <laughs> okay, Timmy. Here he is. Let's see if we can get him to follow us. Hey, it's Timmy the monkey. How are you, boy? How did he get here anyway? Yeah, how did Timmy the monkey get here? He was on Melee Island. I can't reach it from down here. There's not some secret way from Melee Island to here, is there? Anyway. Let's use the banana picker for what it's actually Go supposed on. to be used for. Which is collecting bananas. Got one. I'm not sure how many of these we can get. Oh. Hey, stop that! Get 
away from that, Timmy. So, we've got a whole thing of bananas here. And we want to get these bananas. And we want to use the bananas with Timmy. Here, have a banana. And now, Timmy will follow us. Similar to how we use the, um... Why is he glitching like that? Are you okay, Timmy? Are you well? Similar to how we used the um, bananas to get the monkey to follow us in Secret of Monkey Island, actually, if you remember. So anyway, we need to come down here. Uh, we don't need to go this way. We actually want to go down into the mines. So if Guybrush ever wants to do it, which he's having real trouble walking, Guybrush, come on. Oh my god, so long. Right, okay, here we go. <laughs> and we've still got Timmy with us. He's a good boy. He only wants one one banana. Not like that other greedy monkey in Secret Monkey Island. Oh no. He wants another banana now. Just as I say that, Timmy, behave yourself. Don't show me up in public. Oh, I just eaten one of the bananas, okay. Ow, ow, ow. Doesn't matter, we've still got bananas. Alright, stay there, Timmy. Timmy, stay there. Here, have a banana. Have a banana, man. Okay, now he'll follow us again. And we want to go into the mine. And if you remember, there's this door over here big metal door with a little vent at the bottom that we can't actually get through but if we get the banana here we can actually chuck the banana into this vent and Timmy is big enough to go in there how about that uh, what do we do with this? It's dark in there, but I can see the latch for the door and a hungry looking monkey. Oh yeah, I think we have to put a banana through there now as well. <gasps> right, okay. Right, there we go. So we need to shut the vent now. I'm sorry, Timmy. You'll be out in a second. Right, let's put it in the pool. Here, monkey, monkey, monkey. And he's that opened it like up. A charm. And there's some sort of secret here, tunnel down, down here. I wonder what could be down there. That's very interesting. Hmm. But we will have to wait until the next episode to figure that out, because we are out of time. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. Remember to let me know in the comments below the video whether you want to see Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade, a graphic adventure, or The Dig as our next classic point-and-click adventure game. And I will see you all next time.